I'm here at Boot 2023 with Patrick Buell with the Peacock Foiling Dinghy and this is a boat which actually makes foiling far more accessible and takes a lot of its inspiration we, I can see from the AC40, scow bows and a lot of the latest innovations. Um, Patrick, can you tell me a bit more about how you came about the design? Yeah, the design has been made by um, uh, one uh, study office called MM Process. And when we work together, I, I like to work with them because uh, these guys have a nice drawing uh, style, uh, especially to hide the scope, which is very rounded. But like you said, uh, we of course took our inspiration from AC40 or AC75. It's really just nice, really sexy, really stylish. That's the type of boats you like to have. And there really has been a revolution with, sca with the foiling hulls and where the foils are connected with those AC-75s when they first came out. And bringing this across to a dinghy, um, you've got points where you've got the aluminium upright and then the carbon on the outside. What is the reasoning behind that? Well, yes, indeed, we have a, in a, a shaft in aluminium and a tip in carbon fibre. Uh, one of the reasons is, uh, to, of course, to reduce the cost. Uh, and the second point is also to have the possibility to change the shape of the tip. So we have two parts which are connected and that allow us in the close future maybe to give another shape of the foil of the tip uh, for a different program like sailing school. And the third uh, argument for having such part is of course the, because if we have an impact that could happen. Uh, it's rare, but it can happen. Uh, the tip in carbon fiber will uh, will broke before uh, bringing the whole boat. So protecting the hull when you have those incidents. Absolutely. And with, it's clear from the start you've thought about how you launch this boat and thinking the, the practicalities. It's yes. you're trying to make it so that is it easy to get out foiling, and from word go, this is a boat that you can just take out on the water, probably on a launch trolley. Yes, and absolutely. then put out onto the water. Yeah, you are absolutely right. One of the, the, the big points of the peacock, and which is pretty much remarkable when you look at it, is you see those big foils which are retracted. It looks like a, an Imoka as well when you see those big foils like that. And that's a very important point. When I started this whole company four years ago, uh, the whole idea is to... Uh, to have the possibilities to switch from the, the foiling mode and the displacement mode, mode, displacement mode, so the classic mode. And that's very interesting because that brings a lot of safety. If the wind is really high uh, or if you're tired after two hours foiling and you want to make a break or come back, uh, uh, come back to your airborne safely, then you put the foils back. So you retract the foils by hand and it, has, it takes uh, less than a minute. So it's very easy and you do it by hands. So it's not hydraulic like the AC40, but <laughs> that's the same principle. And it's not just the displacement mode or foiling mode. You've also got this mode where you can have both foils down for the first times when you're going out to give you that stability, almost like having stabilizers on a bicycle. Yeah, exactly. Well, well we, we have a, a, a J later shape of the foils give you a lot of self-leveling. The most important indeed when you're flying it is to get this stability. So the shape of the foil, the shape of the tip especially, is giving you this stability. And this is a, the easiest foiling mode when you are a foiler, uh, a foiler beginner, you want to start for the first time, you will have the three legs a lot of stability but when you get an expert and that's also something that you really want to go uh, that you really want to do with a peacock is to foil on one foil and that is possible keeping all the foil in the water just give a little bit of healing angle and believe me the the boat really uh, transform itself uh, as a rocket you know it's to, it's it's another game but it's really funny now you've done a lot of testing on this I know and this is hull number four I believe yes. And what is it like when you take someone out for the first time and you go into that, that mode where you pull up the windward foil and get them going? What's their reaction when they see it? Well, I think uh, uh, sailing fans uh, uh, like me, I think, are proud. And, uh, well, you, you hear silence on board. And, but you, when you, you turn the head, you see the guy smiling quite a lot. And I, and I ask himself, yeah, I, I ask him, are you happy? And uh, is it going well? Yeah, 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 it's so nice. So, yeah, most of people are really happy with, uh, with that. Foiling for the first time, is, uh, it's really new and it's really a revolution. It will change completely the way we, we sell today. 
Well, it is great to see how the foiling revolution is becoming more and more accessible. And I have to say, this boat really does make that entry point easier as far as I can see. So many thanks for your time and I'm looking forward to my first sail in it. Yeah, yeah, you are more than welcome. Please thank you and test.